Hey you doing guys, Zera here. So I wanted to talk about Neo 2. If you guys know it, I very very recently got a platinum trophy for the first Neo and I actually really liked it. It's just one grab I had with it, it's just like you're pretty much playing as an Englishman and somehow you're supposed to understand the language that everybody is talking in the game, but that makes no sense at all. I think it was in Japanese. But anyway, as of right now that you're watching the gameplay, this is actually not Japanese. I think this might be Mandarin, and uh, but the conversations I believe is in Japanese. I could be wrong, please don't quote me on that. But that's not the point of this video. You re already read the title of this video. I'm quite damn disappointed about this. This is extremely lackluster of a sequel that can ever be. This is super surprising in my regard as well, since like I really like Neo and I really was anticipating to see something else at least different. But no, we're not getting to see anything different. You know how much of non-differentiances that you can see here? There are none. The only thing that I noticed, you can play as any character because you have that kind of customization. You can be a female, you can be male, you have varieties of customizations of how you can look like as well, different hairstyles uh, and that sort of thing, of course. But that's, is that really all? The UI is identical to the, to the one from the first game as well. Absolutely identical. I'm very disappointed about this. Like, the way everything looks, it's more of a, how can I say, a DLC for the Neo. Uh, the shrine, when you know when you meditate, then you need to do the upgrades if you want to, well, it's up to you. It's all identical. The menu, it's all identical. The bar, the menu, everything that you do, setups and stuff. Everything is absolutely identical. Even the font, you know, the, like the way you put the numbers and as well when you pick up uh, when you pick up these kills that you get, right? The uh, currency and stuff like that. Every single thing is identical. What the fuck happened with the development of this game? There's nothing changed. Let me tell you. The quality is identical. The environment is identical. The weaponries are identical. What the fuck? What's there new? Like seriously, like I can also see and notice as well, uh, there is some places that you can find there's chests areas, right? And they kind of have like this mimic abilities, like, you know, mimics that there is inside. Now, I'm talking about, I'm referencing a little Dark Souls in here because that's, that's the freshest thing in my mind I can think of right now. And uh, that was very ideal. I really liked it. It was something new, a little bit different. It's same thing in here again. What the hell? I'm looking at the gameplay while at the same time talking to you guys. Everything is identical. The way you pick up the stuff, when the way you come up to the uh, place, right? And then you need to, you know, get the resources, get some kind of equipment, whatever it could be. Everything just relies on the ground, for example, and you pick up in the individual stuff. Identical. What the hell happened? While you are also in a death scene, right? When you die, identical. What the hell? I understand that the gameplay you're watching as well, this is just an alpha, right? And uh, because this is was represented to us at the TGS, and uh, obviously you can be telling me, wait, wait, what the hell is wrong with you? Wait for the beta, wait for the final game. This is not how it's going to look like. Dude, what is wrong with you? The foundation and the core elements of the game is all here. Nothing is going to change. Sure, there will be implementations of new things and improvements uh, to the game. Yes, but they're not going to have changes. That's different. Beta, obviously, I'm going to wait for the beta. I believe there might be actually an open beta for this game in November. I believe it was 1st of November or 1st of October. I can't remember. I think it was 1st of November. And I'm definitely going to try that out. And then I'm going to make another video talking about it. Uh, were my thoughts and impressions of the game that I've just saw, you know, were the truly result of it? And like, was I right? Was I wrong as well, right? So far, as I'm looking through a whole thing, even the enemies, they all pretty much look identical. It's extremely lackluster, and I'm very disappointed to tell you this. Now, I have to make this out very important. If you like Neo and you thought that there was no bad things regarding it, and you don't mind, like there's no change at all, like at all, then yeah, you will definitely like this because I can tell you right up in front, I already mentioned it. This is more of a DLC. It's not a sequel. A sequel didn't even try to do something different. Now that's disappointing. Don't get me wrong, customizing characters again. Uh, people might consider that, oh, that's a step up. 
yeah to you it might be but to many other people actually I should say most of other people this is not right this is not okay at all again i'm very disappointed about this so far that i've seen the gameplay i thought i was just you know messing with my mind and i thought maybe well what well, i see on the gameplay i think it was back in april it looked all identical i didn't say anything about it because like you know i i decided to wait a little bit longer to, till the tgs i'm sure they're gonna change anything i even mentioned in a twitter as well saying like i'm very disappointed to see there's nothing changed at all and uh what does this mean like and uh while looking at it again <laughs> tgs came around and gone Oh, what? It's identical. What the hell happened here? Oh, I don't know. I don't know. I'm just disappointed, man. I, it's disappointing because I love these sort of games like Dark Souls-esque experiences as well, right? The Surge, the Neo, uh, Dark Souls, Bloodborne as an example, and so many more. I like playing these games, and that's why I critique them at this point, right? I wanted to see something new for the sequel. Come on, you need to improve it, not just make the all the same. Don't get me wrong, once again, I understand a lot of people will be telling me, oh, well, uh, let's say Borderlands. Borderlands 3 didn't get much of a change. Are you sure about that? Look at the AI, at least that changed. I mean, UI, sorry, about uh, apologies. That at least that has been changed and tweaked a bit as well. And the quality is actually improved as well. There's even proof with that. But this, what? Like the only new things I can tell you right up up front while looking at the glance of this as well. It's basically when you use the ultimate or power up abilities, you change significantly uh, how you look like. You look like more of a uh, yokai as an example, right? And uh, from the first game, you, what was only changed was your weaponries. They had the yokai uh, possession, so to say, right? But this time in here, it's like, what? Uh, anyway, I'm, I'm getting pissed off about this. I think I'm done for today. Thank you so much for watching. Of course, more videos will be popping up. My apologies, guys, if you do not share my opinion about this. I just wanted to share my opinion. I understand you will not agree with me. I understand as well. It's uh, like maybe a few, few of you will agree with me. That would be nice, of course. But this is just my personal thoughts, okay? And uh, I understand I can be very wrong till we get close to the release. Ah, uh, yes, you should mention this. I think the game is actually coming out at the beginning of uh, 2020. And that will be interesting because like a lot of people speculate that as well, Elden Ring might be coming out that time as well. That would, that would be awesome as well. All right, well then, thank you so much again for watching. Like and subscribe as always, and have a good one.